Is this okay? And then I just speak to the camera or to you? To you? Okay. I was the very first wolf on the shelf. It was originally supposed to be a naughty or nice program to help Santa and the other elves streamline that process. It was never supposed to be like this. It was never... It has blown up and gotten completely out of hand. Gary the Elf is the leader of the Elf on the Shelf movement. He is known within the group as Advent. We had to call him Advent. Gary started in the sleigh division of Santa's workshop. He moved into the workshop proper, which is where he met most of the elves that he took with him to Elf on the Shelf. Uh, he told a lot of us that he was single-handedly building a whole new sleigh for Santa. We just all believed him, but of course that was one of many lies. And I have a lot of regret about being the person who brought Gary in and I just felt like he saw me. Elves were all kind of the same and Gary made me feel like I wasn't just another elf on a toy conveyor belt. So, we started the program. It's not what it was when we started. So the pranks were his idea and when they started they were kind of cute. Um, I know a lot of our shelf elves were bored. They were expected to stay up and watch their kids all night long. Um, that was one of Gary's mandates. You had to be there 24 seven. You were not allowed a break. So they were looking for something to do and I suggested clean up a little bit or fix broken toys. But Gary said, we are not the shoemaker's elves. We are Santa's elves. And it is important for us to go above and beyond. But then they started to become something we called penance for misbehaving elves. And once they became penance, the whole thing changed. And that was when the group started to do increasingly alarming things. I'm sure you've seen those news articles. This is Gumdrop. I, uh, yeah, I remember when this was, when this happened. And I remember thinking, oh my God, like what? But, um, Gary just applauded it. And so the rest of the members, Oh, poor Wiggle, Wiggles. Um, his kid came home and turned that fan on and he was just, he was really never the same. Jixie and uh, Iceberg Vanderpost. Oh, I'm sorry. I really, I just, I can't, I, I need a second. Thank you. I think I knew I was in over my head when I heard reports about elves being found face down in toilets. Like they were just drowning themselves in toilets as penance. And then there was Tickles. <laughs> she was found on a plate She was just bones. And for what? I could not figure out why we were doing this anymore. It seemed like we were the ones on Santa's naughty list. So I made the decision that I needed to get out of there. It was one of the scariest things that I've ever had to do. Um, it was the middle of the night. I just got on a candy cane train, headed straight back to the North Pole, and I did not look back. 
Gary has tried threatening me. He has made the North Pole legal system work for him in spades. It seems like he has this never-ending cache of Christmas cookies and he just buys lawyers to keep us in legal hell. I've received uh, coal in the mail and I know it's Gary. He has told the other elves that are still on those shelves that I'm a suppressive and I expect it's going to be like that until he is brought to justice. It is my hope that by coming forward, we can end this program. Have an amazing holiday season and I will see you in a couple of weeks.